Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about Makeup Geek shadows. These are all of the new shadows from fall. I am so excited to share these with you. It was like a comparison of the old shadows because a lot of these look dupable. So I thought that I would show you comparisons of the ones that I think there might be a dupe for, which I kind of, I don't know. I mean, some of these look so similar to the other ones. So this is kind of the warm side and these are like the more brighter shades that I'll probably never wear. We'll start out with Cabin Fever. So this is a really pretty warm brown color. And I thought to myself, this looks so similar to um, Coco Bear. So we're gonna, we are going to decipher that here in a second. But I'm wearing that on the outer part of my um, lids. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. That in my outer crease and I kind of deepened it up uh, in my crease. Wild West and this came out in another collection but that is not as similar as this one. So that's Coco Bear. That is Wild West and then that is Cabin Fever. So there are different, I mean, Cabin Fever and Coco Bear are pretty similar. I think Coco Bear is a smidge deeper. Next is Lucky Penny and that is this color right here. Almost, I don't even know how to like how to describe it, but it's a little bit like a taupey violet color. That is stunning. I think I have anything like that in my collection. is Moonstone and that is Starlight, I think, which is a foiled. Those aren't any different. So those are not um, a dupe at all. So that is one shade that if you wanted to pick up, I would. It's stunning. I've never, I don't think I have anything like this. Next is Early Bird. This is like a bright orange color. It kind of reminds me of Chickadee, but I'm sure it is different. Let's just test that one out. This one is really pretty. It almost has like a pink tinge to it. And it's kind of funny, they did Early Bird and Chickadee and they're kind of like in the same color family. I wonder if they did that on purpose. I could not find Chickadee, but I can tell you right now that it is different because Chickadee does not have like the pinkiness to it. It's more of like a bright yellow color. This is Sidekick and this is what I'm wearing in my crease today. I love this color, it's really pretty. It's just like a lighter version of Cabin Fever. Um, with a little bit of pink to it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So that is Sidekick. That's Sidekick and that is Coco Bear. Those are not similar. That's Frappe, that's Sidekick, and that is Coco Bear. Yes, okay. Next is Tan Lines, and this is kind of like your typical transition brown color. Uh, not pretty pigmented. So that is tan lines. I'm gonna put tan lines next to creme brulee, which, and next to latte. So this is, okay, so that is tan lines. That is uh, latte, and then that is creme brulee. So again, really different there. This is bake sale. This is, again, more of a stunning color. I'm freaking obsessed. I am so obsessed with that. That is like the perfect taupey, I don't know, that is like the perfect transition taupey pink color that it reminds me of. So that is Bake Sale, that is Creme Brulee. Slightly lighter, not as dark. Could you get away with not having, could you get away with having both? Yes. Could you get away with not having both? Yes. So that's my final answer on that. This is Pocket Change, that is the next one. Really pretty, ooh, metallic kind of sandy, coppery gold color. I don't think I have any dupes for this one. Well, that, again, pocket change, that's bleach blonde, I believe, yes. And then this dark shade right here is pretentious. So no dupe again. This is bandwagon. This is kind of like a cool tone transition shade. Let's watch these. They are totally different than how they look in here. They've got a lot more dimension to them. So that is Bandwagon that has a little bit of like purpley cool tone undertones to it. So Friend Zone, Bedrock, and then Bandwagon. It's a dusty taupe. That's a really good description. And then the last one is called Faux Fur. So Faux, oh, I just dropped that. Fur is very similar to Bedrock and to Friend Zone. And then this is the other one, which is Bandwagon. So these are all very similar in that same color family, which I don't think that you, if you have Bedrock or Friend Zone, you don't need 
faux fur that is a soft mink brown with a matte finish as let's be honest the less overwhelmed we feel with about wanting to purchase something the better because i know that's how i get i'm like do i already have that i don't know okay so first this is what i'm wearing all over my lid and i love this shade i don't have a dupe for it it's called curtain call this is the foiled shadows and i just love her foiled shadows i think that they're super gorgeous that is curtain call it's got like this really pretty bright red i'm gonna swatch a couple of them just for shits and giggles showtime's definitely darker that is what i'm wearing all over my lid and then kind of smudged underneath the lash line today right in the center of it of my lid today i put nostalgic which is like this beautiful um, pink color it's just like a pinky beige they describe it as a bubblegum pink <sighs> really intense and pretty it's really close is whimsical if you have whimsical you probably don't need this whimsical is different it's a little bit not as pink and this one i wanted to swatch next to it too with this is starry eyed it's another one of hers it was starry eyed it's pretty close so whimsical starry eyed and then nostalgic the same color family for sure babe don't you hate when you hear somebody and you think you're like do i leave my door open do i shut the my garage i've been watching too much american horror story all right next is hype and i don't have anything like this in my collection i usually don't wear these colors too often because they're just not my cup of tea really so i don't wear them this is a beautiful purple color oh my gosh i love it it's a sorcery that's the kind of a pretty blue matches my nail polish oh i love that sorcery and hype okay plot twist plot twist is like this beautiful bright cobalt Gosh, if I could get the balls to wear this shade, I would. I just, I don't even know how I would wear this. Take two is like an olive green color. I would say demure, like it's not super in your face. That's really pretty too. Epic, which is like an emerald green for those people who like to do more of like the emerald shades for, I mean, just pigmented out the wazoo emerald so that is epic shade is lime limelight it's basically a lime green it doesn't swatch as great as the other ones this one doesn't it's a little chalky guys enjoyed this video and um if you want to purchase thing if you want to purchase anything i did i will link everything below and um you can have at it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you next time bye